it's also December, which makes it officially Christmas time. Where's Cliff Richard? Anyway, it's the 5th, I think it's the 5th, yep, yeah, it's the 5th of December, 2015. It's blowing a gale, well, not quite a gale. Uh, it's chilly, it's dry, and I've got friends up in North Wales who are getting rather wet. Uh, that is if they have power. Oh, it's 6.45 in the morning. Another week has disappeared. Another Beano has arrived. Um, Newport by bus, which from the 14th, which I think is a Monday, uh, the frequency goes up to every 20 minutes. And then they leave from Market Square in Newport, which is exceedingly dull, unless you catch the 50. Anyway, um, the Urban Tap House Newport opened a week last Friday. Uh, in the same place as the pop-up, pop-up, urban pop Newport thing. So we're going to have a little look at that. And um, maybe an emergency festive mince pie. And an episode of Twit. Still, after all that, I'm still listening to it. Sometimes, life. Oh, the festiveness of Bedros. Oh look, a festive bus. And I'm not quite sure what flag they're flying there. And I doubt if I even care. You bought my bus. Well, anyway, um, did I say there was new bus starting earlier? Ooh. Stuff going on. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Something about Newport now. Oh yeah, it's the Christmas market. There's a Christmas market. Did I mention there's a Christmas market? There's a Christmas market. And in the distance. Decorative lamp. Hmm. Very decorative. Festive carpets for the festive Mr. Manning. Soon with tablet. Anyway, there has been one thing missing so far in December from Wetherspoons, and that's a lack of silly named Christmas pints. This is now remedied. This is Cockley. Red Nose Reindeer Christmas Ale, 4.5% alcohol by volume, with a hole in the head. <laughs> well, it could be a little reindeer paw. Paw? Oof. Hmm. <coughs> oh, it's even bigger hole now. Um, B plus in a bit, 3.25, um, if you're on Google Plus, that's just gone crazily bad, um, disaster. <sighs> yeah, B plus in a bit, I've lost it again. Oh, it's Mrs. Teresa. Already. <coughs> um, Bath Ale's festivity, 5% alcohol by volume, a festive port, and the white balance is slightly moving the right way. Mm. It starts off quite light, and then you get that portery taste, chocolate, burn. Coffee, stroke, nice bit of finish. Another B plus in a bit, 3.25 on the untapped scale. Google Plus, you're still out of the game. And semi unsympathetic answer from the bar about the Wi Fi. 
Okay, so lollipop and iOS won't connect with. Which is a shame. Not liking to fill it anyway. And number two here, Bangers and Mash by Brains. 4.3% alcohol by volume. And what we have to ask today Whatever from the pump clip. Uh, what's the word? Don't find my tail. It's very pleasant. It's good. Good means 4.3. No, it means B plus. Oh my. Cambrian Road. All bent. Sort of Santerish over there. And the lamb has lights. Branded glass, except it's not branded for the brewery that I'm drinking from at the moment, which is Cult Experience. Castle Hall, 4.7% alcohol by volume. Brewed on the point when the industrial estate in Kefili. I can smell the hops. That's a good sign. Altogether, not sure. It starts off okay, but hmm. I get a B plus. Who knows? Beautiful. The all new, I mean the all new, Urban Tabas new bus. With a van. The Urban Tabas new bus. Very urban. Um, no flags, Mr. Manning. Nice table, so. Anyway. The Colonel table beer. 3.2% alcohol by volume, which at the moment that'll do for me. So, okay, here we go. Smells of hops, it smells of lots of hops. Oh, wow, B plus plus easily. Hashtag winning. Hashtag Zuport. A pint. Sam Brooks Pump House Pale Ale, 4.2% alcohol. This will probably be my last. Brand of glass. Hmm. Smells spicy. That's a worry. Is spicy, quite spicy. B plus, but B plus plus if you're a spicy person. 